Hi, this is Zayn, please come to 24 here, and that's today, we're going to be reading Joshua 15, guys, from the New International Version, also known as the NIV Version. If, if you guys want to go ahead and read along, you guys can go ahead and go to BibleGiver.com, or you guys can go ahead and go get your own Bible, I don't really care how you guys are going to do it, but let's get started. Joshua 15, New International Version, NIV, Alloyment for Judah, the Alloyment for the tribe of Judah, according to its clans, extended down to the territory of Edom, to the desert of Zin, in the extreme south. Their southern border started from the bay at the southern end of the Dead Sea, crossed south of Scorpion Path, continued on to Zin, and went over to the south of Kadesh Barnea. They then ran past Hezron up to Adar, and curved around to Karka. Now guys, <laughs> before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of these words from now on, and yeah, let's continue on. It then passed along to Asmon and joined the wide eye of Egypt, ending at the Mediterranean Sea. This is their southern boundary. The eastern boundary is the Dead Sea as far as the mouth of the Jordan. The northern boundary started from the bay of the sea at the mouth of the Jordan. Up to, went up to Beth Hagula and continued north of Beth Arada to the stone of Boham, Boan, son of Reuben. The boundary that then went up to Deber from the valley of Akor, uh, Akor and turned north to Gilgal, which faces the pass of Adumaim, south of the gorge. It continued along to the waters of En Shamesh and came out at En Rogel. Then it ran up to the valley of Ben Hinnom, along the southern slope of the Jebusite city, that is Jerusalem. From where it climbed to the top of the hill west of the Hinnom valley at the northern end of the valley of Rephram, from the hilltop, the boundary headed toward the spring of the waters of Nephtui, Nephtui, came out at the towns of Mount Ephron and went down toward Bala, that is Kiroth, Jerim. Then it curved westward from Bala to Mount Seir, ran along the northern slope of Mount Jerim, that is Kesalon, continued down to Beth Shema and crossed to Timna, then went to the northern slope of Ekron, turned toward Shikron, passed along to Mount Bala and reached Jemnir. The boundary ended at the sea. The western boundary is the coastline of the Mediterranean Sea. These are the boundaries sorry guys. These are the boundaries around the people of Judah by their clans. In accordance with the Lord's command to him, Joshua gave it to Caleb son of Jephunneh a portion in Judah, Kiriath Arab Arba, that is Hebron, Arba was the forefather of Anak. From Hebron Caleb drew out, Caleb drove out the three Anakites Sheshai, Ahaman, and Talmai, the sons of Anak. From there he marched against the people living in the Burr, formerly called Kiriath Shefer. And Caleb said, I'll give my daughter Aksa in marriage to the men who attacks and captures Kiriath Shefer. Othniel, son of Kinaz, Caleb's brother, took it. So Caleb gave his daughter Aksa to him in marriage. One day when she came to Ophniel, she urged him to ask her father for a field. When she got off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What can I do for you? She replied, Do me a special favor, since you have given me land in the Najeb. Give me also springs of water. So Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of Judah, according to its clans. The seven most towns of the tribe of Judah in the Najeb toward the boundary of Edom were Kabzil, Eder, Jagor, Kina, Daimona, Ada, Ada, Kadesh, Hazor, Itan, Ziftilim, Biloth, Hazor, Hadaf, Kiriof, Hazan, Hazran, that is Hazor, Amat, Amam, Shema, Mulada, Hazar, Gadaf, Hashman, Beth, Palet, Hazar, Shal, Birshebe, Bisa, Fu, Bala, Lim, Izem, El Tolad, Kisil, Horma, Ziklag, Madmana, Shansana, Leboth, Shilim, Ain, and Rimon. A total of 29 towns and their villages. In the western foothills, Ish, Eshtol, Zora, Ashna, Zor, Zanora, En Ganim, Taf, Tapua, Inam, Jarmuth, Aladum, Sokof, Soko, Azika, Sherium, Aditam, and Gedorov, or Gedorov fame. Fourteen towns in their villages Kanan, 
Hadasha, Mildalgadilian Mitzvah, Jogtil Lakish, Bozkaf Iglan, Kabon Lamas, Kitlish, Gidor of Bethdogon, Nama, Nama, and Makade, 16 towns in their villages. Limna, Iter, Ashan, Ifta, Ashna, Nizib, Kalia, Azib, and Marasha, 9 towns in their villages. Ikran, with its surrounding settlements and villages, west of Ikran, all that were in the vicinity of Ashdod, together with their villages, Ashdod, its surrounding settlements and villages, and Gaza, Gaza, its settlements and villages as far as the wide eye of Egypt and the coastline of the Mediterranean Sea. In the hill country, Shamar, Zatar, Shokov, and Shokov, Dana, Kiryov, Sana, that is Jibur, Anab, Esh, Tomav, Anim, Goshen, Ulon, and Giloi, 11 towns in their villages, Arab, Dumar, Ishan, Janim, Beth, Tupa, Afuka, Hamta, Kiryov, Araba, that is Hebron and Zur, nine towns in their villages. Mon, Maon, Carmel, Zif, Juta, Jezreel, Jokram, Zanoa, Cain, Gibria, and Timna, ten towns in their villages. Halhul, Beth Zur, Gidor, Maraf, Bel Anaf, and Alek. El Tekon, six towns in their villages. Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, and Rabbah, two towns in their villages in the wilderness. Beth Arabah, Midin, Shekha, Nibshan, the city of Salt, and En Gidi, six towns in their villages. Judah could not dislodge the, the Jebusites who were living in Jerusalem to this day. The Jebusites live there with the people of Judah. Well guys, I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click that like button. And guys, as you guys can tell, these words are pretty hard, so I can really pronounce all of them correctly. I probably got at least half of them correct. But anyway, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I know it was pretty long. And like I said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.